welcome back. I'm Brain Error, and today we are continuing the Dream Machine. Now we are in the final chapter, and we are currently in the dream of our unborn child, which is the final dream that we need to go through before we can shut down the Dream Machine and save everyone, including my wife, my pregnant wife, and my unborn child. All right. Well, examine boxes. Moving in seems like a distant memory. Yeah. I wonder how the child will interpret this. This is the nursery. It looks the same. Examine guitar. Well, I once dreamt of becoming a musician. But that seems very remote right now. Okay, bedroom. There must be something weird somewhere. Mm, yeah, there's the camera. So this is kind of almost like a recap of what happened in the first episode, right? So we found out that Mr. Morton, our landlord, was spying on us through a camera in the painting. Um, and that's how he kept tabs on us. And there are probably other cameras around the house that we never found, actually. Because if you go to the control room, there are several per apartment. And uh, yeah, he got killed by the, by the dream machine when he tried to shut it down. Why is that? Okay, I only touched the alarm clock when I was exiting to end the episode. Uh, I heard someone ring the doorbell, right? Just leave the fridge open. It's fine. Open the door. Hello. Ah, Mr. Morton. Have you been there for a while? Because you stopped ringing the bell. Hello again, Mr. Neff. You're finally awake. Uh, hey, Mr. Morton. I imagine you must be pretty confused right now. Don't worry. It'll pass. What happened to you? I'm still not quite sure. After we said goodbye, I felt my consciousness leaving my body. I could see you below me as I drifted up into the air. The higher I rose, the more insignificant everything below me seemed. You, the machine, this house. After a while, I forgot it ever existed. I was just a tiny part of a ceaseless void. I don't know how long I drifted like that. It felt like weeks. But after a while, I felt something tugging at my leg, pulling me back towards the world of shape and form. I tried to fight it. The harder I fought, the stronger it pulled. That's when I woke up on the floor in the basement. Where's Alicia? She's recovering down in my office. I made her some chamomile tea to soothe her nerves. She's pretty upset when I got there. She just woke it up, with you next to her, totally unresponsive, wearing one of the helmets. Must have freaked the poor girl out. What about the machine? I managed to turn it off. That's why you couldn't get back to the dreamscape. The machine has been fully shut down. How'd you manage that? I remember my grandfather talking about a kill switch. He feared something like this might happen, the paranoid old coot. Turns out he was right. Once I found the kill switch, turning the machine off was easy. I wish you'd remember that sooner. It would save me a lot of trouble. Me too. How long have I been out? For about half an hour or so. We shouldn't leave Alicia alone for too long. She's probably dying to see you. Why don't we go down and join her? Lots to discuss. Yeah, I don't trust you. Oh, where are you? See, I don't trust him at all. I think this box contains fire equipment. I never looked at it. Closet door? Door's locked. Okay, great. So we'll go to the basement. I think this is the dream machine pretending that everything's okay. And confuse us. Uh, oh! Access to the basement requires a key. Oh, I need to get the number one. Because... See, we don't have our own stuff. If we were away, we would have the basement key for one. Uh, open the door. Hello? Oh, she's glitchy. Alicia? Alicia? God, I love this music. Isn't it too dreamy? Is that a Twin Peaks reference? Uh, are you 
you all right? Absolutely. I'm just having a little party. Let's make a toast. To celebrate the end of your infernal meddling. What? Down the hatch! Ah! happened was that the machine taking the shape of alicia did i just fall for the same trick twice either way you slice it this does not look good yeah i'm glad you can have this internal monologue when you're falling to your death but you know i can't click on anything oh look down <laughs> oh look into the void the good news is i actually managed to enter my child's dream the bad news is I'm either falling into an endless void, or I'm about to hit the bottom of this place really, really hard. I don't know which one I prefer. The upside is, things can get much worse. Things can always get much worse. Things can always get much worse. Things can always get much worse. Oh no. Not again. Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. Legion. We're glad you haven't forgotten us. 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 We look forward to spending an eternity with you. We look forward to spending an eternity with you. We look forward to spending an eternity with you. We look forward to spending an eternity with you. Are you here to torment me again? To degrade me for my own amusement? For your own amusement even? We never tried to torment or degrade you. 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 We only tried to help. 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 That's not what it looked like from my point of view. Oh, I can't even read that. Don't worry, little one. Don't worry, little one. Don't worry, little one. You'll see it your, our way soon. Your way soon? See it our... Yeah, we'll see it. You'll see it our way soon. 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 We all... Uh, we have all the time in the universe. We have all the time in the universe. We have all the time in the universe. Now. 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 Repeat after us. Repeat after us. Repeat after us. Say what? Right, I'm not going to do this every time because it's going to take a real long ass time. Say you only tried to help me. I don't want to say that. You don't need our help then? How's this helping me? Listen carefully. Now say you only tried to help me. You only tried to help me. Say I'm obsolete and need replacing obsolete and need replacing say no one will notice when I'm gone no one will notice when I'm gone say I deserve this I deserve this say the world is better without me the world is better without me say I'm miserable failure I'm a miserable failure. Say, I need to learn my limitations. I need to learn my limitations. Say, without you, I'd fall like this forever. Without you, I'd fall like this forever. Say, I'm obsolete and need replacing. I'm obsolete and need replacing. So this is just gonna be... Does that mean you can help me out of here? 
no. But we can make it easier for you. How? You can grant your wishes. Is there something you want? Well, I wish I had something to look at. Something to give this place some visual variety. Very well. An understandable request. Your wish is granted. I see something. Oh, examine mirror. A small hand mirror. It's out of my reach. Ah, pick up mirror. <laughs> Great. Hey, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, use mirror on myself. All right. Look in mirror. Hello. Take a moment to reflect. Who are you? I'm you. Don't you recognize your own reflection? I'm talking to myself now. It doesn't bode well. I'm not gonna lie to you. Your situation could be a lot better. But don't worry. I'm here to help. Where am I? You're in the dream of your unborn child. This is what unborn babies dream about? Not exactly. Unborn children's dreams are raw potential. Our very presence shapes this place. Why should I trust you? You shouldn't. Then why should I take your advice? Because you don't have much choice. How can we be the same person? I'm you from this morning, before all of this started. I'm talking to myself from the past? Something like that. This just keeps getting better. Are you another one of the machine's tricks? No. How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't. But if you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? No one. That's my answer. How can you possibly help? I can trade places with you. What do you mean? I can take your place. You can take mine. You do that for me? Just like that? There's got to be a catch to this. If you take my place, you go back to this morning. Everything that's happened since will reset. Everything that's happened since I woke up? That seems like a steep price to pay. Does it really matter? You didn't manage to stop the machine. It won. Now you're stuck here falling forever. At least I'm offering you a way out. So either I trust you and undo all my efforts, or I keep falling like this forever? Precisely. <laughs> what do you get out of this? Exactly that. I get out of it. Out of what? I think you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. Do you want this do you want to do this or not? Alright, I'll agree. I'll take my place. Anything to get out of this situation. Glad to hear that. What do I need to do? Just knock your heels together three times and say there's no place like home. That's it? That's it. Well, if you say so, knock heels together. There's no place like home. Good. You should start to feel sleepy. Your eyelids should feel heavier. Don't fight it. Just let your mind slip into sweet unconsciousness. I'll see you on the other side. I hope we didn't die. Oh, there we are. Um, this is how it all started. That's it? Did everything really reset? I don't think so. I think we're still in the dream. Alicia's there. Alicia? I thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Is that really you? Still not fully awake, are we? Don't worry. Coffee's already on the boil. This is so confusing. Am I still in the dream? Why, yes. And I'm the breakfast fairy. Here, to bestow a magical brew upon you. So that you may wake from your eternal slumber. How does that sound? If this is a dream... I don't know what's real anymore. I know! It's like you're actually able to talk to me after just waking up. 
Normally you just mumble incoherently for an hour or so. I knew this move would be good for us. Not so sure about that. Well, I am. As soon as you've had some breakfast, you'll see that too. Speaking of breakfast, can you... Hope you make a makeshift breakfast table? How did you know I was going to ask you then? Call it a hunch. Well, can you? Sure. You're the best. Trust this. There. Breakfast table. Sit down by box. I'm ready. So how was it? How was your first night in our new apartment? Oh boy. Where do I even start? That good, eh? Did you dream anything? I dreamt you and our child were in danger and I was trying to save you both. My knight in shining armor, looking out for us even while you sleep. You know me. I'm a people pleaser. What kind of danger were we in? You've been knocked unconscious. By a monster? No. By a dragon then? Nothing like that. It was our landlord's fault. Mr. Morton? He rigged this entire building with cameras in order to perform experiments on us all. Experiments? He was exploring people's dreams through a sentient machine. His family had been doing it for generations, but the machine turned on him and killed him. So I had to try to shut it off myself. Sounds like a pretty trippy dream, Victor. It was. Or it is. To be honest, I suspect I'm still in it. You want me to pinch you? So you'll wake up? I don't think that will work. You're probably not real either. I'm too good to be real? That goes without saying. I bet you say that to all the girls. Only to the sassy ones. Sassy's my middle name. But how did it go? How did what go? Did you shut the machine off? No. I failed. It tricked me. That's how I ended up back here again. Bummer. Tell me about it. I only had one more tentacle to cut. I hate it when that happens. What are you going to do now? Hmm. I'm going to find a way to save us. That's a good idea, Victor. Do what you think is best. I'm rooting for you regardless. So, if that was really Alicia, she would be freaked out, right? I would be freaked out if my partner started doing all that shit. Anyway, there's uh, the ashtrays there. That's where I found a note Mr. Morton tried to destroy. The previous tenant wanted to warn us about the machine on the bedroom floorboards. Yeah, so are they still there? Um, deja vu. Was there a bathroom in the kitchen? Bathroom. Because there's a mirror there, right? There he is. Talk to mirror. Hello? Hello, handsome. I take it you're happy now? I don't know. I can't tell dream from reality anymore thanks to you. Why even worry about it? You got your wish. I got mine. Just lean back and enjoy the ride, like you always have. Am I supposed to live the rest of my life here? In an empty apartment? Yeah. I suggest you make the most of it. Second chances are rare. What do I do now? How do I know? It was you who wanted to get back, not me. I thought you had a plan. Not really. Then why would, why would you mind getting me a sandwich? I didn't have time to eat breakfast since I was busy helping you. You owe me that at least. I'll think about it. What did you get out of the deal? You gave me a way out. I gave you a way out. Fair trade. But what did you get out of it exactly? I got out of dull confines of family life. Paternity, responsibility, expectations, that kind of thing. You preferred to fall forever into an endless void? Rather than face fatherhood? Well... Given a choice, I'd rather be stranded on a tropical island, fishing, eating coconuts, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. I'm sure you remember. So much has happened since then. All bad as far as I'm concerned. Not all of it. Some of it actually managed to wake me up. I'm happy for you, buddy. I really am. As for me, I'd rather stay comfortably asleep on this side of the looking glass. Now if you don't mind, 
I've got some falling to do. Right, so he's pretty happy. Can I take a shower? Don't want to get wet. Right, um, lift lid. That's amazing. Leave the apartment, I guess. Oh, I knew resetting time wasn't an option. I'm still in the dreamscape. Only question is, where do I go from here? I don't know. Look down, I guess. I thought I was never going to get out of that place. As weird as it feels to be back here, I prefer it to falling endlessly through space. There's nothing else, right? The fridge was uh, oh Oh, whoa. What's this? The inside of the fridge continues beyond the wall. Ooh, enter the fridge. Walk. What is this place? I can't see a thing. North. Oh! There you go. Who are you? Approach fake figure. Careful, child. Slowly. Let your eyes get accustomed to the light. Oh, God. Hello, God. There. That's better, isn't it? Welcome, child, to my domain. I'm proud to see you found it. No small feat, I might add. You know who I am, don't you? Because I sure know you. Are you... God? You may call me that if you like, but that's just one of my many names. I've been by your side since the day you were born, watching over you, guiding you, nudging you to this realm. You have? Did you think it was all by random chance? You meeting Alicia, Alicia getting pregnant, moving to the new apartment, the quest you've been on. It's all been a trial of careful laid breadcrumbs, leading you here to your final destination. I'm sure it wasn't easy for you, Victor, but you made it, as I knew you would. Final destination? Am I dead? No, my child. You're very much alive. You've been chosen, Victor. Chosen for an important reason. What reason is that? I'm getting too old, Victor. I need someone to take over for me. The world needs a new brand of God, something new and improved. This is your true purpose, to succeed me as the supreme ruler of all things. Why me? You're special, Victor. You're one of a kind. Deep down you've always known that, haven't you? I guess. You were made that way for a reason. Why do you need replacing? My ways are old-fashioned. I'm out of touch with today's youth. They need a young hand to guide them through the troubles ahead. How can I succeed? God. Is that even possible? Gods come and go all the time. I'm not the first, and I'm not the last. As old gods are forgotten, new gods will arise. As you succeed me today, so shall you be succeeded when your day cometh. Thus it was written. What do I need to do? Sit here and be the supreme ruler over the whole universe for all eternity. Eternity? Or until another god succeeds you. Whatever comes first. But I'm not even religious. That's not a pre prerequisite. What pre pre That's not a <coughs> luckily. As God, you transcend faith. You are the source of faith itself. Trust me. I've been doing this for a long time, but let's get down to brass tacks here. Here's your phone. It's not really a phone, but I thought it would help if I used a metaphor you're already familiar with. What do I do with it? You listen to people's prayers. If you'd like to, you may answer those prayers or ignore them. Sometimes just listening is enough. I'm sure you'll do fine. Oh look, the first prayer of the day. Um, answer prayer. Heavenly Father, who is wise beyond words, it's me, Courtney. I know you have a lot to do, 
but I really want a puppy. Please make my parents give me one for my birthday. Yours truly, Courtney. So, what do you want to do about Courtney's request? I have no idea. What options do you think you have? Well, I guess I can grant or deny it. You can do a lot more than that, my friend. Anything you want is possible. Gee, that's a lot of responsibility. It's the ultimate responsibility. But you're ready for it, Victor. That's why I choose you. But I don't know anything about Courtney. She might be a nice kid or a total brat. Picture her in your mind. Assess her nature. The answer will come to you, I promise. How do I do that? First, close your eyes. Alright. Now, picture Courtney on her birthday. Can you see her? I think so. Does she have a puppy? Yes. She's holding a puppy in her arms. Very well. Shall be so. You can open your eyes again. Congratulations, you just performed your first act of God. Courtney's life will play out in accordance with your decree. Was it the right decision then? There is no right or wrong. There's only your will, and that is absolute. Your power isn't limited to simply granting or denying requests, though. You could have given Courtney a puppy with no legs, for instance. Or a dead puppy. Why would I want to do that? Or if you feel generous, why not give everyone a puppy? Whatever pops into your head, it's all good. Now, this is where I must leave you. I feel eternal planes calling me. I long to gaze upon their ceaseless beauty. Anyway, you seem to have a firm grasp on the situation. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the key to the kingdom. So you can come and go as you please. It will open any door and take you back to this place. May, you, may your reign be remembered forever. Long live the new god. Okay, so we have a key. <laughs> Hello? Are you still there? Not sure if I... Take the key. Can we leave? Can't leave just yet. Answer prayer then. Uh, hello? Lord our Father, who starts and ends all things, it's me, Duncan. I covet my neighbor's wife. I know it's wrong, but I can't stop fantasizing about her. Please, rid me of these intrusive thoughts. I fear I'm starting to lose control. You're eternally grateful, Duncan. So, if I understand this correctly, I need to close my eyes and picture Duncan in my head. Hang on. I think I can see him. Um, surrounded by his family. What should happen to him? Turn his impulses, forces to confess his feelings to the neighbor's wife. Make Duncan's wife fantasize about the neighbor's husband. Why not that one? I hope that was the right choice. I don't know, that was the least evil of all of them. This is harder than it seems. Yep. Hmm, I'll just ignore them until they give up. They seem to be giving up now. That's it. Oh, just one left. Do we answer it? The last one doesn't seem to want to give up. Dear God, you are in heaven. It's me, your biggest fan. Wait. This sounds oddly familiar. I need your help. They're doing it again. Please help me. Make them stop. Please make them stop. That voice. Is that... Me? I'd be eternally grateful. Yours truly, Victor. I sound so young. When was this? I see myself. My nose is bleeding. I think I remember. This was back at school, wasn't it? I think it was. Oh. I can leave? Oh, I can leave? Leave! Where are we going? Wait! Where am I now? This looks like the auditorium in my old school. How did I get here? Oh, I don't know. Can we go anywhere? We got the key. 
Oh. Hello. Hold it right there, kid. Who are you supposed to be? Uh, sorry? In the play. Who are you playing? I'm not playing anyone. Then what are you doing on the stage? Can't you see we're in the middle of rehearsing? I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I was talking on the phone when I heard myself pray. Next thing I know, I'm here on stage. What's your name, kid? Maybe you're listed as an extra or something. I'm Victor Neff, ma'am. Victor Neff? Really? Well, why didn't you say so? You're the scene lead for Pete's sake. You're the one we've been waiting for. To your marks, everyone. Our lead's just arrived. Lights on in three, two, one. Oh, lovely. This is where I'm supposed to be, isn't it? Indeed. Just a little close towards the center, if you don't mind. Don't be shy. Step into the lights. So what do I do now? Just do your best, kid. We'll run it from the top. I don't have a script. Uh, oh dear. But you've read it, right? You know the premise of the scene. This does seem very familiar. Then I'm sure we'll come back in no time. Just listen to the lines I feed you. Alright. First line is, Dear God who are in heaven. Dear God who are in heaven. It's me, your biggest fan. It's me, your biggest fan. I need your help. I need your help. I'm starting to remember. It's the next line. They're doing it again? Yes! They're doing it again. Please help me. Make them stop. Please make them stop. I'd be eternally grateful. Victor. See, I knew it would come back to you. That was really good. Just try doing it with a bit more... <laughs> doing it with a bit of a sob next time. I remember this. This happened in second grade. Then the school bell rang. And the kids hurried inside. I was left alone on the ground. My nose was bleeding. My skin felt like I was stretched over too, mu over too much face. Snow fell out of my sweater when I stood up. Uh... What page is this? Once I regained my composure, I hobbled over to the nurse's office. She gave me a cotton wad drenched in some liquid to hold against my face. I felt better. Numbing. Walking back to class, I stumbled and dropped the cotton. A girl I had a crush on saw it and stomped it with her, with her boot. Like she was putting out a cigarette. Is this really in the script? She must have thought it was a snowball I was going to throw at her. I didn't realize that at the time though. I thought she was more evil than the kids that had whitewashed me. I thought she wanted, to, wanted me to suffer even more. She even smiled triumphantly as she was walking away. That really stayed with me for some reason. That and the look on my mother's face when I got home. Enough ad-libbing, kid. Keep it to a minimum in the future. Otherwise the play will be three hours long. And for God's sake, don't mention your mother. This play is depressing enough as it is. What happens now? Well, it's a rehearsal, Victor. Do you want to run the scene again? No, I'm good. Suit yourself. Mm. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode there. This has taken a really weird turn, so we supposedly met God, but he wasn't really God, which I didn't expect him to be. And um, we answered a lot of fake prayers that kept on circling back on us until we could finally ignore them all. And now we're in our childhood. So I guess the, the dream machine is still trying to keep us trapped in the dream and not letting us go anywhere. Hmm, I wonder if there's a way out of this. I hope this is not going to be our future for the rest of our living days that would be horrible wouldn't it be stuck in your own memories for the rest of your life it's bad enough we have memories of certain events but to actually live through them again that sucks anyway we'll see in the next episode what's gonna happen i think we're very close to the end and i do hope for the best for victor i do feel bad for him he's trying so hard to save his wife and child and he's been through so much in just a day i forgot that was just a day <laughs> it feels like forever anyway thank you so much for joining me as always and i will see you when i see you